Western Power employs around 2,800 employees across 30 locations. Half of those employees work in operational maintenance, keeping the 100,000 kilometres of line and cable flowing with electricity, including 70 apprentices. Around one third of Western Power's employees have degrees or higher qualifications. People here work in engineering design, grid transformation, and many other innovation and problem solving jobs and supporting roles. Around 760 women work at Western Power across all areas, including 88 in leadership roles. Whoever you are, Western Power has a role for you. I'm Carla Baston. I'm the Operational Asset Performance Manager for Transmission. Basically, that means that it's my job and my team's job to make sure the Transmission Network is working like it's supposed to. My name is Jacqueline Masuka. I'm a Telecommunications Engineer for Western Power. My name is Lauren Elise Eart and I am an Apprentice Electrician and I work at QDEL Depot in Perth. Hi, my name is Ravana Budraj and I'm the team leader for the Complex Customer Solutions team up in Grid Transformation. My name's Joss Rollins. I'm a Field Operations Team Leader at Western Power and I look after the Pinjara Depot. I have a team of 58 individuals at the Pinjara Depot split up between overhead maintenance and construction, uh, underground and projects and fault response, also looking after street lights, metering, disconnections and reconnections. Uh, my name is Cherry Tinshe. Uh, I'm working as a SCARA engineer. Actually, a SCARA engineer role is a very unique and quite exciting role like compared with the other job that I have done. Um, because we have to make sure that our operation system works seamlessly so that Western, we can monitor our, uh, for Western Power Network. And our work involve, involves in uh, cyber security, networking, engineering, um, troubleshooting, data analysis, those kind of scale. My name is Neve Murphy and I'm a standalone power systems technician. I think one of the things I like the most is every day is different. The office view changes every week. <laughs> yeah, so one week you're down at Wandsboro, green grasses. Next week we're up at Pink Lake. Yeah, so that's one thing I do like about the diversity of it. The different customers, different characters you meet. My name is Genevieve Simpson and I'm Government Relations Manager at Western Power. I'm not an engineer, but I find engineering fascinating and I get to work really closely with engineering teams. Um, I'm not an economist, but getting to work with our friends in corporate finance means that I get to learn a whole lot about kind of economic theory and, and financial modelling. So the best part of my job is definitely getting to be able to work with um, a broad set of different disciplines. Hi, I'm Megan. Um, I work for Western Power and I'm a protection systems technician. So Western Power is the best place I've ever worked. The reason I love it here so much is because um, there's so many different opportunities to learn different things that's so diverse here. So I've always been a very curious person. I always wanted to understand how things work, how things operate from a very young age. So the curiosity has helped me to then use my imagination um, as a designer. So in telecommunications, you have to imagine what the network looks like because you can't physically see um, where the communications aspect is going. So you need to have a sound imagination um, skill. The qualities I have for my job are thinking outside the box and um, basically learning. Uh, strong leadership, um, being one of the team, uh, being part of the team, um, always part of the solution, not scared to get your hands dirty yourself um, and, you know, chip in. Um, again, for me, asking a lot of questions, understanding exactly what you're dealing with, going out on site or getting people to show you drawings or sitting with someone. Um, I'm good at big picture thinking and bringing everyone on a journey. Uh, what my team does is we have to develop investments, which is where we spend money on the network. And part of that is considering what other people need and what their wants are. Our stakeholders might be wanting to put in a microgrid where I just want to replace something as it stands. And big picture thinking really helps to think about what everyone else needs. So 
that you arrive at the best decision at the time that meets the needs of the most people possible. It's actually exciting to have not have a script in your role and be able to be dynamic. And I think that my ability to react well um, and be resilient is actually kind of key to that. I'm a very, uh, my, fa my favorite subjects at school were probably uh, not what you would envision. I generally like the stuff like literature and history and all of the kind of artsy stuff really, which is quite funny to land myself in a, you know, in, in a really technical um, role in a technical organization and in an innovative organization. But what I have loved is being able to gravitate between those two. So while I do have a very operational job, I think it's my perspective on the artsy stuff, which makes me very good at my job. So I think I get excited about different things while everyone's focused on the detail that helps me have that big picture perspective. The basically what the skills that we require is a data analysis and also business analytical tools and also have you have to have the interpersonal skills is very important. So these are the three skills that I feel like is very important to deal with my current role. In where I am at the moment in construction, um, I used to play some sports, so um, being a team player, I think, is definitely um, a great way, or a great um, attribute to have to put towards this kind of work. Um, most, most situations, you'll be working with people, um, especially as an apprentice, um, you'll always have someone with you. And so, um, yeah, I think, you know, when you have a job, uh, a big job to do, and as a group of you, uh, good communication as well, I think is really important. Um, and yeah, good attitude, 100% is, is um, a really good attribute to bring to this kind of work. I think um, more than my technical background and the degrees and masters I have, I think fundamentally you need to work with people. Um, so you need to understand um, how to work in a team, whether you're being part of the team and contributing to it, or as a team leader, you're not going to come in knowing all the answers, but you're going to get extremely far by basically reaching out to people, um, asking questions, um, and just trusting in yourself. I've always been chatty. I used to get in trouble for that a lot at school, um, which I think maybe some people who are watching this video might relate to. Um, but that's actually come in, in handy because you really do need to talk to a lot of people and um, make sure that you're communicating in a way that you're actually getting across the right information um, instead of just going bleh. I've always been a problem solver. I like to, you know, figure things out. I used to take apart all sorts of things when I was a child and try to put them back together, sometimes unsuccessfully. Um, Mum will tell you all about that. <laughs> um, but I think what um, this job has taught me, it's taken those problem solving skills to a, f a next level because I've had to uh, become more systematic in my approach um, so that I can actually lay out exactly what the problem was and when you do that you can go back and go right well I need to fix this this and this in order to get the circuit to work. So I think a key part of my um, skills base is being able to ask a lot of questions. Um, so being a, a conceptual thinker, so being able to uh, think of all of the elements uh, that might make up a decision um, that might impact it. Um, and in particular, Western Power, again, it's an engineering focused organisation. So we tend to think a lot in terms of power. Um, but being a state government owned entity, we also need to think about the impacts for the community for the environment um, and so being able to think more broadly um, and analytically about decisions being made uh, is really important for my job. My advice would be in every subject in whatever career you're going for try and get the foundation of the STEM subjects to help you have those skills that are life skills they're actually life skills that everybody needs. You know, I entered the workforce at 17, 18, 18, yeah, as a full-time retail worker. And um, yep, yeah, as you can imagine, Christmas carols, they are not my favourite thing anymore. <laughs> and then just kind of worked through a few jobs and really never found um, anything I was passionate about. You know, you kind of go to work and go, oh dear, here we go again. Um, but of course you need to pay the bills. Whereas, you know, I got to a point where I just, I couldn't face it anymore. And I just said, no, I've got to, I've got to actually do something different. And that's when I um, enrolled in a pre-app 
down at Rockingham TAFE and um, that just kind of opened my eyes to the STEM field and what it could offer and just how interesting it could be and you know it's just awesome. I got into the electrical industry because after travelling for a while I wanted to do something that was better for the bigger picture um, and so I thought renewable energy is, is um, definitely a uh, a very big topic at the moment and, and we know we need to do something slightly different and so trying to make that work the most efficient way. Okay, um, I, I could say I do enjoy math and physics when I was young and I also see my sister because my sister is, as a, is an engineer as well and then I always see, I always saw her doing like very cool, a lot of cool stuff and then reading like big book of technology. Uh, book so like oh yeah one day I'm think I'm going to read those kind of book and then become like you know very uh, innovative and outstanding engineer so that is my motivation and that, that yeah I choose to be an engineer. Take advantage of opportunities so I, it was definitely it's not something that I did during high school I think I was a bit jaded I thought it was a bit too cool for stuff um, but once I got into university uh, I just took advantage of every opportunity that was available to me um, and all of them meant learning new skills and meeting new people and thinking about the world differently um, and really science technology engineering maths it's it's just about thinking about the world differently. If I had my life again I think I'd be less hard on myself about having to have a clear view about the job I was going to do. I think I would have reflected more about the things that made me happy and the things that made me tick because at the core value of that, I like people, I like change, I like achievement, I like outcomes, I like delivery, I like money, not like that, but, but all the kinds of things I, that tick my boxes every day and customers and community and values, that's what I get now. But that's what I should have focused on. So I would have probably ended up, you know, working for a utility or a local government or something that much faster if I had actually focused on what made me happy rather than saying, I want to do this job. Whether you are someone who likes to think big or pay attention to little details, whether you like using numbers or like using your hands, if you want a job that is going to give you career pathways, use all your qualities, solve problems and make a difference in the community, consider a STEM pathway. I love that every day I come to work I feel I serve a purpose for the community. The best bit about my job is the people. I love my... I'm not going to say love because that's not appropriate. <laughs> I really enjoy my team. <laughs> like if they ever saw this they were really lady? <laughs> When they, when they turn on these big circuits and substations and you hear the hum, it is awesome. Knowing that nothing has blown up is excellent. <laughs> but no, knowing, you know, do, knowing that all of our circuits are operating the way they should is just very satisfying. And consider working for Western Power. There are roles here for whoever you are.